Hi everyone. So today we are going to present our project progress on the course subject of Industry Design PMMT 3804. The emergency supply kit 405 digester become our topic as we propose. Before that, let me introduce my team members. First is No Najiha binti Abdul Kadir. Next is Muhammad Nazrin bin Zakaria. And last is me, Lim Kenway. So we have six chapter that we'll be touching on today present content. So I will go through chapter one and two. Okay, so this is our group organization chart. Muhammad Nazrin was as our team leaders, and below there's involved two of the members who are No Najiha and me Lim Kenway. Next is the team member job scope. Muhammad Nazrin play a role as a leader and his job scope is to proofread document and impose obtain for the project, conduct online meeting if necessary, and assign tasks and monitor the work progress. The next member is No Najiha and her job scope is to conduct the most documentation of the project and the design project poster. The last member is me, Lim Kin Wei, and I will conduct the product design through SOLIDWORKS software, conduct a survey for data needed as input for the project, and outsource relevant data to be used for the project. So this is our progress gun chart from week 1 to week 8 that we have made a plan and carry out will be marked inside the chart. So in chapter 2, I will explain more detail the project background, problem statement, and objective. So let's go through the project background. Our team's aim to design a rescue kit or bag which can be very useful in any fire digester. Second, it can be used while the fire incident happened and it can be used even after the fire incident happened. Third, it contains a lot of useful kits and first aid which can assist anyone. And lastly, we design the bag accordingly to the position map and the voice of the customer. Next is the problem statement of the project. Here have been listed four of the problems. First is the bulky size or a heavy rescue bag. Second, lack of specific items according to the fire station. Third, items are difficult to remove due to the compartment's complicated layout. And lastly, getting the bag in a small field fire suite is difficult. So here is our project objective. The first is to create a new design for a rescue pack or a kit that is appropriate for a fire emergency. Second, to match the product to the demands of the customers. And lastly, to generate a 3D design and rendering of the final product. For product definition, our product design for the building. Each department needs to have at least one rescue kit. The material used is straight, offered with high durability, also easy to handle. We designed the bag with many important kits and first aid inside. This is analysis of existing product that we are found in the online shop. From this, we have many types of bag such as backpack, sling bag, duffel and many more. I will show the detail. This is an analysis of target specification. Depending on the size, situation and compartment, each bag has different content. We have information about the bag's brand, size, weight, price, material and features. We define the rate of appearance and durability in material terms in this project. The term flexibility refers to how we carry the bag whether from behind or by hand. How many compartments does the respondent require in terms of space? We place the bag on the position map based on the rate setting and discover our desired market positioning. We can conclude from the position map that our product should be a bag with several compartments of medium size with strength offered as the material. Next, I will explain about Chapter 4 and Chapter 5. Chapter 4 includes questionnaire design and results, while Chapter 5 includes design criteria and direction. In the questionnaire design, we have three sections, which is Section A for background information, Section B for user's preference, and Section C for user's requirement. 
From the questionnaire results, we can see that in question 1, most of the respondents are at the age of between 21 to 39 years old. And in question 2, we can see that most of the respondents are male. For question 3, most of the respondents are students and employees, while in question 4, most of the respondents are university levels of education. In question 5, most of the respondents are located at central region of Malaysia. In section B, from the analysis, we can see that most of the respondents prefer a backpack style with medium size. Next, majority of the respondents had never encountered any fire incidents before, but most of them know the difficulty of fire rescue mission. Most of the respondents also choose strength offers as for the materials, and majority of them thought the fire rescue kit as an emergency relief and survival kit. Other than that, most of the respondents giving opinion that the common problem for the victim while facing the fire disaster is the smoke get into their lungs and the victim cannot find the exit. From the chart, the top 5 things that is essential to be included in the fire rescue kit are fire blanket, fire extinguisher, first aid kit, rescue tools and glove. Meanwhile, the top 5 things that can be as an option are bottle water, towel, hammer, food supply and knife. Lastly, for section B, majority of the respondents choose option B for the type of arrangement in the backpack. In section C, the analysis is about which part of the rescue bag is very important. From the graph, we can see that the maximum vote, which means the respondents highly recommended, are in terms of materials, quality, durability, safety, flexibility, and functionality. This analysis also shows that most respondents take serious about the compartment, color, size, easy to use, easy to store, long lifespan, the weight, and lastly the comfort. All these criteria are needed to have in our rescue bag design. As for the design criteria and direction based on the Google form, most respondents choose backpack type in medium size. The analysis shows maximum vote for strength of first material with weight below 2 kg. Last but not least, most respondents choose the bright color or reflecting type for the rescue bag. Okay, so in chapter 6, we will present our design that have been sketched respectively. All of the sketch were according to the design criteria and direction as have been presented. So this is the first concept of the rescue bag. It was in red and backpack type. A door handle was added to comfort the user to take in any condition. The items was has been listed in the compartment which to help the user to solve the problem in facing the entire situation. The second concept was also in backpack tab but in different open conditions. It can be easily opened and closed like the luggage. The bright color of the bag will help the user easily to get it in the smoke field fire condition. The compartment of the bag was being recognized with the item to help the user get it more easily. The third rescue bag concept was in cylinder type. The bag can be opened into a half cylinder to get the items. All of the compartments have been designed with a special container to keep the items from falling out. Although it was in cylinder shape, it also was a backpack type. The yellow color of the bag will easier for the user to get it in an emergency station. Data I collect is backpack type with medium size based on responder input. This is my very first drawing. The scenario I have chosen is before the fire spreads across the building. This bag has two zippers that make it easy for the victim to take up things. The bag only has enough supplies for one person. In the illustration above, there are five slot compartments. The situation I choose for my second sketch is a building that is on fire. With the same material and size, I decided red color for this bag. Additional item can be placed into the front slot, which has only one zip. On the shoulder strap and at the back of the bag, there is a sponge. One person can use the emergency backpack because most respondents wanted multiple compartments inside. There are seven slots to fill the bag. This design was chosen since 
it is easy to carry for the user. For the last cash, this bag can be utilized while the user is prepared in a burning building. The bag has a sponge on it to make it easier for the user to carry. There are two primary zips and 11 slots that have been arranged to make it easy for user to reach the right stuff. User will also be given Google and Focus layout to make it easier for them to save themselves from fire. Hammer are available for a variety of purposes, including breaking glass window in the building. This is our seven design concepts which focusing more on compartment. With lots of good compartments arrangement will help to ease the user to arrange many kits. Next, our 8 design concepts, focusing more on flexibility. Flexibility could ease the user to carry the bag either from behind or just holding it. Lastly, our 9 concept design are focusing more on stylish and technology. This bag has a red light blinking to ease the user to find it when they are in a dark situation. So this bag is designed to be placed at high-rise building or suitable for building in the city. It is not recommended to residential area due to the equipment inside the bag. It is not suitable for family type.